Hello once again this is V3 Zulu Alpha Gold for uh, Suraj This is a short demonstration on lightweight QRP tuner for Enfield half wave wire antennas I have built this around a small PVC case which is easy to carry anywhere especially for SOTA operations It also consists of a small circuitry which will give the stabler indication based on the brightness of the LED and it can be tunable from 80 to 17 meter. I have only marked for 7 megahertz and 14 megahertz as per the requirement. So it also consists of uh, two options uh, to switch to SWR bridge and uh, one to bypass the SWR bridge and directly connect to antenna. And it also consists of a tuning knob where uh, we can adjust the tuning frequency from 7 megahertz to 14 megahertz. on top of the box there consists of two connectors one for counter post and one for long wire on the bottom part the cable assembly is there uh, which is connected to a pl259 connector which will be connected to the radio output so the back side the switch i have used is a dpdt mini switch uh, through which i can uh, connect the swr bridge as well as bypass the SWR bridge So these are the components that are required uh, for making this particular tuner So this is a circuit diagram and uh, these are the assembled part of a few of the components So this is 200 ohm resistors I have connected in parallel three pair of 50 ohm resistors and this is the capacitor that I connected in the same resistor and uh, one small resistor for the led connection and also the diode i have soldered in the other end of the resistor and this is the variable capacitor i am using it's a 2j gang pvc type capacitor with range of 0 to 260 picofarad and uh, this is the tuner coil uh, that i have soldered straight away into the variable capacitor and glued on back side of the variable capacitor using double sided tape so the core i have used is t56 toroid and the turning ratio is continuous uh, 3 turns with a center tap and then continuous 26 turns so this is how it looks and uh, this is a small pcb housing that i have made for better mechanical strength and i have uh, already soldered the dpdt switch on top of it and one for taking the connectivity out for the long wire and counter post terminals So this is a basic uh, requirement. Now this is how I uh, make this uh, small housing uh, using the copper clad. And I have uh, soldered a uh, few of the components on it. This is a little bit uh, more progressive completed part with the cable soldered on it. This is almost the final view. Uh, I have placed this uh, inside the plastic uh, PVC. Now let's do the testing part of this tuner. I'll be using my scalar network analyzer and the PC for uh, finding the tuning frequency of this particular tuner. I have kept the tuner uh, with the knob marking near the 40 meter. Now let's check uh, using my scalar network analyzer set in return loss bridge measurement. While sweeping from 6 megahertz to 9 megahertz to get accurate uh, result, I am getting a steep uh, with the uh, SWRS 1.2 near uh, 7 megahertz. so it's working so let's check in real transceiver this is my micro sdx transceiver and this uh, small switch and wire assembly is the ptt and mic setup of this micro sdx here are the settings button on the back side you can see the antenna port 
so we'll be connecting this uh, tuner uh, to this particular antenna port so let's do it We have to use two wires, uh, one for uh, long wire terminal and one for counter post. So I will be using this uh, yellow cable that is normal electrical 1 mm square wire of around uh, 4 meter length. This will be acting as a counter post wire. At the same time I will be using this long electrical wire that is same 1 mm square but the length is around 20 meters. So this will act as the long wire of this particular infrared half wave antenna. So let's connect it. Connecting the counter post wire. Now let's start. I have set the frequency at uh, 14 megahertz, and uh, I have turned on the PTT. Now let's uh, check the tuning. To get the LED indication, we need to turn the switch position to SWR mode. You can see the LED is glowing. We can tune the tuner uh, with the help of this particular knob. And while tuning we can see that the brightness of the LED is varying and at some point the brightness is null. This is the same point uh, where the SWR is minimum. So we have to keep uh, the LED at minimum brightness or null brightness to get a better SWR value. So now it's perfectly tuned at 14 megahertz. Now for real transmission. We have to change the switch position so that the SWR circuit get bypassed so that we can use it for normal QSOs. Now let's check uh, same for 40 meter band. So I am changing the band to 40 meters that is 7 megahertz in CW mode. Putting the tuner in SWR indication mode, I can see the LED is glowing that means VSWR is high. I am uh, turning the variable capacitor knob in counterclockwise near the 40 meter marking. Here I can fine tune and I can uh, minimize the SWR to null. So here I can fine tune. So you can see the LED is not glowing now that means the SWR is very minimum. So now the 40 meter uh, is also perfectly tuned. For performing the QSO again we need to change the switch position so that the SWR circuit get bypassed and it will work as a hand fed antenna. So that's all uh, with this uh, particular video. So this is a simple uh, sort of antenna which can be easily carried uh, around along with uh, your QRP radio and uh, this will work up to 20 watts. So better to keep a safe limit of maximum 15 watts. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Thanks for watching. If you are not subscribed please do subscribe. Thank you.